You know, because we have a little bit of a break here, we have hockey leagues pausing up for the holidays, and we have guys getting named to their world junior squads. Let's use this as an opportunity to go over one of my favorite prospects in the NCAA here today. Vancouver fans, New Jersey fans, you're all collected in here looking at this guy seeing how he's doing, wanting to see him do well, or at least maybe one fan base is a little bit more cynical than the others in this kind of scenario here. But today we're talking about NCAA Michigan defenseman Luke Hughes. Actually, I should say University of Michigan, because just saying Michigan doesn't really get the point across. There are a few Michigans in the NCAA, but... For Luke Hughes, a New Jersey Devils prospect, a left-handed defenseman taken fourth overall at the 2021 NHL Entry Draft, we have had so, so, so much hype about this guy the past few years. Obviously, because of his older brothers, there was a very big level of expectations to fill for Luke Hughes. If you're not aware, his two older brothers are Quinn Hughes of the Vancouver Canucks and Jack Hughes of the New Jersey Devils as well. Quinn Hughes, who was drafted in 2018, is noted today as one of the top defensemen in the NHL in points and arguably the most talented defenseman to ever suit up for the Vancouver Canucks. So absolutely no big deal whatsoever how good Quinn Hughes is. For Jack Hughes of the Devils, he was taken first overall the next year in 2019, and he's a guy who, unfortunately, has not really had the best showcase so far, mostly due to a slow start and injuries as well. It hasn't been the most seamless transition for Jack Hughes into the National Hockey League just yet, but there still is indeed a level of expectation that he will become a franchise number one overall caliber center. For Luke, though, not being first overall, but being fourth is kind of in the middle there. Because Quinn was a little bit too small to be considered earlier in the draft. Jack, of course, is a center, so he gets that benefit. But for Luke Hughes, he's a guy that was touted earlier on in his career as potentially being better than Quinn and maybe even better than Jack. Now, it's tough to quantify how you could say a center or a defenseman is better than the other, but still. There was a level of hype that existed for Luke Hughes back when the guy was like 16 years old that was perpetrated by Quinn and Jack having such a high level of success. We talked about Luke Hughes several times on this YouTube channel, even spanning back to those days, and I believe it was 2019, if not earlier. But now Luke Hughes, one of the youngest defensemen in the 2021 NHL entry draft, is finally in the NCAA. He's playing his freshman year, and guess how he is doing? This guy has gone out there and absolutely torched the league in a way that we haven't seen in a while. Now, this is great, because if you go over to Luke Hughes and his game log, take a look, he has himself a total of 18 points in 20 games played for a stacked University of Michigan Wolverine squad. Now, he is actually sixth on the team in scoring, despite being just under a point per game, because Kent Johnson, Owen Power, Beniers, Brisson, and Thomas Bordelow are all there as well, higher than him in points. For defenseman, though, he is second overall on the team just behind Owen Power, and Owen Power, with 23 points in 18 games, is significantly older than Luke if you want to take a look at draft comparables, because yes, they were drafted in the same year, but Owen Power was born in November of 2002. Luke Hughes was born September 9th of 2003. So he's almost an entire year younger than Owen Power, even though they were taken in the same draft year. Thus, Owen Power, playing a year in the NCAA last season, is kind of the more comparable year we can have to Luke Hughes, rather than just this year and his really good point-per-game metric of 23 points in 18 games. Let's go over to the NCAA comparables and see just how Luke Hughes and his under point per game mark stacks up against other guys who were 18, suiting up in the league for the first time. If you take a look at the NCAA defensemen in the U19 range from 2008-2009 to today, you could see that point per game wise, Luke Hughes is currently fifth on the list. Now, Sean Behrens is playing for the University of Denver. He's doing really well right now, too. But if you take a look at some of the other guys, I mean, Luke Hughes is in the same territory as Justin Falk in his 18-year-old season, K. Andre Miller in his 18-year-old season, but the guys a little bit down below are the ones that are more interesting. Quinn Hughes is, I know, we talked about Quinn Hughes, Vancouver Canucks defenseman, arguably the best defenseman the team has ever had. He is a lot further down on this chart. 
Quinn Hughes in his 18-year-old season for the NCAA's University of Michigan Wolverines had 29 points in 37 games played for a .78 points per game. So, you know, all that stuff that we talked about earlier on in his career, before he was even drafted, before he even played with the NTTP. Oh, was Luke Hughes better than Quinn? I mean, statistically speaking, yeah. At least, today he is. And even though the team that he is playing on is a lot better than the team that Quinn was playing on back when Quinn was a freshman, there still is that argument to be made. Let's go down further and take a look at some of the other guys that Luke Hughes is besting out in terms of the points per game in their 18-year-old years. Jake Sanderson, in 2020-2021 last year, had 15 points in 22 games played. He has now been named the captain of Team USA at the World Juniors, and he is just above and beyond great this year for the North Dakota Fighting Sioux, getting himself 19 points in 15 games. If you go over to the U20 number, he's super high up there, so he's doing really well. 25th on the list right here is that Owen Power. Last year, Owen Power, as a first overall caliber 18-year-old defenseman, had 16 points in 26 games played for a .62 points per game. And Luke Hughes has 18 points in 20 games, so he went out there and bested out the first overall pick's 18-year-old year that was good enough to give him that first overall spot. Now, I get it. Owen Power wasn't really drafted specifically for the numbers, it was more about the potential and the talent and the size and all this stuff that he had going for him that made him appear to be just an absolute stud. And to be fair, he is doing so well this year that those claims are somewhat vindicated. But the cold, hard numbers about the situation are pretty good in Luke Hughes' favor. Not to mention the fact that the problems that Quinn Hughes had when he was draft eligible, okay, he's only 5'9", and he's not really going to get any bigger, he's a small guy, and yeah, he's kind of the same now, this year, I believe. Luke Hughes does not have that problem. Luke Hughes is 6 feet already. He was 6 feet even before the draft year began last season. So, Luke Hughes right now is a 6'2", 185 defenseman, which is bigger than Quinn. It's bigger than Jack. He's the tallest of the bunch, even though he is the youngest. And now, as a guy who is boasting similar skills that Quinn Hughes possessed, it's an absolutely scary combination when you try to project where Luke Hughes is going to go into the future. Now, Quinn is an absolute cowboy out there on the ice, spinning around guys, dangling the pants off of guys. He is an absolute wizard on the ice. And Luke Hughes, while he may not have the same level of rotational agility that Quinn does, Luke still is a very good, polished, fast skater in his own right. He makes good decisions with the puck. He's very skilled. He's got a really good shot as well, which he unleashes once in a while. He's got seven goals with the Michigan Wolverines this season. And overall, the New Jersey Devils, I mean, they have themselves some pretty good defensemen already. Ty Smith is there. He's looking to be really good into the future. You have yourselves, of course, Shakir Makamadoulin that you drafted in 2020. And now you have yourselves this Luke Hughes in your pipeline as well. Obviously, the brother connection with Jack makes things a lot more valuable than they would have been had there not been that brotherly connection, but even in isolation, Luke Hughes is a very good player. Was he the right pick at fourth overall? I don't know, time will tell, but he's a guy that I definitely did not say was a bad pick at that spot. And I mean, if you want to take a look into the past few seasons, the last guy to get drafted fourth overall on defense was, what was it, Kale McCarr? No, it was Bowen Byram. Yeah, Bowen Byram's doing really well too. It's just unfortunate that he's dealing with injuries, but hey, look no further on that Colorado blue line than Kale McCarr. So yeah, defenseman going fourth overall in the previous few seasons definitely does have a good track record. And if Luke Hughes can go out there and even be just a shade of what those two guys, McCarr and Byram are, then I'd say this is a pretty good pick. So, talk to me in the comments what do you think about the update we have had here for Luke Hughes, New Jersey Devils prospect, fourth overall drafted defenseman going out there with an extraordinarily good NCAA start to his career. Whether or not he makes the NHL right away next season, or he spends another year in the NCAA, I'm not really too sure. He is a guy that is good enough to the point where if you wanted to say, okay, play NHL at 19, he would not be out of place. But of course... Owen Power went first overall, and he decided to go back to Michigan because he wanted to develop. And for Luke Hughes, playing a freshman season, he might be wanting to do the same thing. Who really knows? So talk to me in the comments what do you think about that aspect, as well as the overall profile of Luke Hughes. Do you think he'll outproduce Quinn in the season one day? I'm not really too sure. Quinn's taken an absolutely big step in his game this season, so who really knows how his ceiling is going to pan out? But either way, talk to me in the comments what do you think. I hope you enjoyed this bit of Josh Rolson, I and I. And... Bye.